time for Science with Trent! It is January the 22nd of 2016, which means it is the 151st birthday of Wilbur Scoville. Now I know what you're thinking, Wilbur, Wilbur, where have I heard that name before? Wilbur, no not Wilbur, Scoville, Wilbur Scoville of the Scoville Scale. The Scoville Scale is a semi-scientific measurement of the pungency or spiciness of food. In 1912, Wilbur figured out that he could use an alcohol solution to extract capsaicin from a very carefully measured amount of food. He would take that solution and then gradually dilute it with more and more sugar water. A panel of taste experts would taste the dilutions until they could no longer detect any spice. Then based on the amount of sugar water necessary to remove the spice, Wilbur assigned a Scoville score. Watch out for those green bell peppers. Fear the bland. Now the Scoville scale is kind of like Fahrenheit and then it's not very scientific. It is criticized because it is based on human taste testing, which is notoriously subjective. While the Scoville scale is still used by food hobbyists, such as myself, the industry standard is the much more boring ASTA, which doesn't even have its own Wikipedia page. <laughs> so the Scoville scale is an approximate measurement of the capsaicin in a food. So what is capsaicin? Capsaicin is the strongest of the capsaicinoid molecules, organic chemicals that bond with the heat receptors in the mucus lining of the nose mouth, throat, and eyes, and to the lesser extent, the skin of mammals. Wait, just mammals? Yes! Mammals tend to chew their food, which crushes the seeds and ruins them. Birds, on the other hand, cannot taste capsaicin. They eat the seeds whole, carry them away, poof them out, new plant. So capsaicin seems to be a natural defense of the plant, to allow birds to eat the seeds and carry them away, and mammals to not chew them up. Poop. Now remember, I said that the capsaicinoids bond with the heat receptors in the mucus lining. So yes, the same nerves that tell your brain that the coffee you're drinking is too hot are the ones that are fooled by capsaicin into thinking that the pepper is boiling. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a common misconception that the seeds that make a pepper hot. Actually the seeds have no capsaicin in them at all. There may be trace amounts in the flesh of the pepper, but almost all of the capsaicin is in that light fleshy stuff around the seeds called the placenta. <laughs> Chemically speaking, capsaicin is hydrophobic, which literally means afraid of water. In reality, what it means is that capsaicin will not dissolve in water, which means the old saying, the water makes it worse, is absolutely true. So what you really want is a fatty liquid like milk, ice cream, yogurt, or my favorite, eggnog. Oh, oh. Ah, mm, mm. uh, better. So now you know about capsaicin and the Scoville scale in Wilbur Scoville. And knowing is half the battle. Happy birthday, Wilbur. We'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Which means it is 150. Uh, today is January 22nd, 19. What? Which means it is the 151st birthday of. So close. Oh, I made it. In 1912, Wibble figure Wibble Wibble Wibble. <laughs> In 1912, Wilbur Wilbur. In 1912, Wilbur figured it. Wilbur. Wilbur. You did it. It's a miracle. <coughs> okay. 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 You're hot. Wow. <laughs> in the Scoville scale in Wilbur, Wilbur, Wilbur. No, it's not hot. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, that's hot. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, oh, I got up my nose.